Well, welcome to another episode of A Slice of Heaven. And today, since it's finally feeling like summer is just around the corner, we're going to make a salad. And it, it's a, an, a fairly easy salad to make if you have a, a family picnic coming up or a graduation party. It's uh, just a, a great kind of refreshing salad and it goes with with lots of um, meats and chicken and, and other you know types of food that go well at picnics. So while my uh, rotini is uh, still cooking, I'll just go through the ingredients. So I'm using 16 ounces of garden rotini and it's um, the, the triple with the uh, spinach, tomato, and then the regular uh, rotini noodle. And we're going to put in cubed cheese. So I've got most of my, my cheese already cubed, so I'm just gonna do a little bit more. And with this recipe, you can just pretty much put in whatever you want. My daughter-in-law is a vegetarian, so we uh, tend to stick with more of the, the veggies, olives, uh, cheese, uh, grape tomatoes. You can also use um, pepperoni, which I, I'm just going to put in a few slices of pepperoni. But you can really add anything. Um, the grape tomatoes, I like to cut them the either, either cut them the long way or my husband prefers to cut them in half because he says they look a little bit prettier that way. So we're going to add some grape tomatoes. And I pre-washed these and um, there's, when you buy these nice little plastic containers, there's holes in the, your container so when you wash them, the, the water drains out so that works real well when you are using your other strainers for maybe some of your other items that you're going to be using for your salad. That should be enough tomatoes. And then one of my favorites is black olives. So I already have those drained in my strainer. So I'm gonna put these out on my little cutting board. And I also do the, uh, cut those. I just cut them in half uh, vertically. And right now I think my rotini noodles are done. So I'm gonna check those. Um, what I do is I boil my water and I, I like to just use the microwave. So I boil uh, my water covered in, in this covered micro, microwavable dish. So boil the water for 10 minutes. And then depending on um, you know, how soft your noodles are with a pound of the rotini noodles, it might take 10 to 15 minutes for them to cook. So I'm gonna get my strainer put it right in the middle of the sink and then we're going to strain the rotini. And when you're doing your salad you're going to want to use nice cold water so that your your noodles chill down. And I either either use your hands or, or take a, a spoon to move your noodles around so that you get them cooled off and the extra starch goes out of the noodles as well as you're uh, running the cold water over them. Even if it's for just a couple of people, you could just use a, a half of the, of the bag of noodles if, if you prefer. Um, with our catering business, I have used the, the rotini salad on, on various occasions and I will end up using three to four bags depending on you know the size of the group. Using a 16 ounce bag you can probably have eight to ten servings if you're if you're having lots of other items at your picnic then you might not you know eat that much. Anyway but if, it, if this is going to be your, your primary lunch it's a nice a nice item to have in the refrigerator for something quick if you want to take it to work or if you're at home and you're busy and you just want to grab something then it's it lasts in your refrigerator for quite a while. So we have these almost drained. I 
And when you cook your noodles, you, you want them so that they're, they're not hard and, and kind of gummy, but yet you don't want them to, to get too soft either because then they're, they're going to get mushy. So like I said, so, so for a, a pound, cooking your, your noodles about 10 to 15 minutes is just about the right amount of time. And I tend to let start the, them boiling and then I will stir them after about five minutes and, and continue you know, stirring every five minutes until they're cooked. We're gonna continue slicing our black olives. Uh, other th things that you can put in your pasta salad would be broccoli, cauliflower, if you like mushrooms. Not everybody likes mushrooms, so I tend to not put mushrooms in. My, uh, <clears throat> not all of my, my children like mushrooms, so we try to stay away from some of those ingredients if, if everybody isn't going to eat it. Okay, and then we're just going to add these, and, and you can get any kind of, of pitted black olives, and these are, are large pitted black olives. Um, sometimes you get medium ones, or depending on, you know, what, if they're on sale, kind of depends on sometimes, you know, what you might buy. What, but um, any kind really works just fine. And then we're going to add the cube cheese. And depending on, again, what your family likes, you can put in as, as much or as little as you uh, wish on that. I'm gonna grab my spoon. What, what I really like about this salad is it's so pretty. All, all the colors really come out. You get the, the nice orange from the, the cheese and the red can add some more black olives and um, uh, the red from the tomatoes make it just look, I think, really attractive. And the only topping I use, the dressing, is just actually an Italian, uh, zesty Italian. And I like this, the zesty Italian, rather than the low fat because it, it has um, more spices in it. And you can just pour on enough until you think it's going to be um, the right consistency. You don't want it to be um, too 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 runny on your salad but the next day usually I would make my salad the day before and because of, of the noodles depending on how much of the dressing you put in it's it's going to um, it's like it seeps in to your noodles so the the next day you will probably even add more dressing to your salad and I am going to add just a these few pieces of pepperoni to my salad. And one thing about pepperoni is when you put it in, for some reason, even when you separate your pepperoni, it seems like they always cling to each other again. So I'm, I'm constantly stirring and, and re-stirring when I, when I do my salad. So even after you, you know, put them in, you can still kind of work your, through your salad and, and see that they, they're sticking together and then you're gonna wanna you know, take them apart. And I just had, had a few pieces on hand, so if you're you know, doing a, a, pepper, a salad with your pepperoni to take to a picnic or a, some kind of an, an you know, open house or whatever, then you would probably wanna add more than, than just those few pieces. And um, the salad goes very well, as I said, with, with uh, meats or chicken. And what I'm going to do is I, I have um, a chicken breast made. Uh, when, when we grill in the summertime, we like to make extra, um, you know, half chicken breast. So they're all set to go on our, on our salads. And when we come home from work, then it just makes it really easy just to put your chicken on, on your salad and you're all set to go. So what I'm going to do is get my chicken out. And then I'm going to put the salad on just a little bit of lettuce, just to make it look pretty. Again, it's nice green lettuce that I have here. So we're just going to, you know, kind of put it on the lettuce there. And 
and get some of the pepperoni on top. And if you were doing, you know, just a, a luncheon and you wanted to have a salad like this and then add your chicken breast, you might not want, you know, one quite this large, but I have it already cooked and you can even, you know, kind of slice it. Either, you know, slice it like, like this or just slice it in, in strips too, but, but at any rate, then you can put that on your, your plate like, like so. Your chicken is all set to go. And then for the, the final piece, then I, I top my salad with some grated Parmesan cheese. And this is real Parmesan cheese, which I like better than the, the finely grated Parmesan cheese from a can. So we have our, our plate all set to go for your, your company or for my husband. Um, typically, when I've been doing my shows, I have somebody eating at the end, you know, tasting whatever I made. But um, my husband is busy painting our family room, and he has a, a deadline. We're having new carpeting putting, uh, put down on Thursday and in preparation for our daughter's wedding. So a lot of people do a lot of remodeling and in, in that preparation. So that's what he's doing. So he'll be all set to go. And um, I'm just gonna put the rest of the salad in, in this bowl and then it'll be all set to go on that little picnic or if you have to take it someplace. And then I use, when I do catering or even just in my, my everyday use, I use Longer Burger baskets. And um, so we're just gonna put the lid on there and then this goes on there and our salad is all set to go. So until next time, from a slice of heaven, happy cooking. <laughs>